Hey, good morning, Condre. Uh, we're here today. We're not going to do a bad blade review. Um, if you follow us at the Condre, you know that the Vector is an extremely popular razor right now, there at least. And so I wanted to do a follow up video to the one I posted a couple days ago and just respond to a couple of the things that the guys have posted, provide you guys an update, and also let you guys know. Um, I've been using it since. I used it yesterday as well, so today's my third shave with it. But continuing with the soap theme uh, for the month, it is still Bay Rum, and then the alternate theme is Citrus. Um, I'm kind of going back to that Bay Rum profile a little bit with this one. It's kind of a stretch, but it's uh, one that I wanted to use. It's Bluebell Spice Rack. Bluebell is a company from the state of Utah in Bluebell, Utah, and sadly... Um, it was two brothers, and life just got the better of them, and they decided to close shop and focus more on their home life. So it's a shame that it's gone. Um, but this scent, the way that he described it originally is, is that imagine if you took out your spice rack and just accidentally dumped it. <laughs> it's true. I mean, this one, there's a little bit of everything in it from the spice world. So there is a bay note in there for sure. It does smell good. Um, I, it's a... It's one that I actually do enjoy. But I do got the Vector loaded up, but I, before we get started, I wanted to discuss a couple of things. The big talking point that's been going around now is actually where is this razor centered? So with the camera up high, I'm going to do very careful there. So most razors on the markets, DEs and SEs, your tipping point or your balance point is usually up around here. This razor does and brings it down to here. And then for those of you, if you haven't, if you didn't know, that's just from injury from yard work. So it's down here. Um, so most people tend to hold DEs and SEs up here, like this, and then tilt and come down and do their pass. This razor requires you to hold it here which means that you have more length up here what you're working with. So it can make it feel uncomfortable. And if you're using a razor that's not as balanced, you're more inclined to apply pressure, you're more inclined to not have the correct angle, just something to keep in mind. And to kind of prove the point here, trying to prove There's the balance point. Okay. So I brought out the Parker variant, not loaded, but to prove to you where the balance point is. See how high that is? So you're holding it here. You got all this extra handle to rest into your hand. That's why people like it, because they want to be able to wrap their hand around it. The vector doesn't allow that. Case in point, I'll show you again. Got another razor here. This is the Colonial General, an SC razor. Right there, up top again. You pinch it, turn it, you're up high again. You're not down here. So again, you can wrap your whole hand around the handle. You get up, you get ready for your shave. Just, just something that's pretty interesting. I didn't pull out the Timeless, I didn't pull out the Game Changer. Um, they're both, I pack them away in their respective cases. These are just other razors that I keep out um, because I just keep them out on a, a razor rack on my counter. But I wanted to throw that point home, that that right there, if you're having problems with it, it's because your balance point is there. And then look, you can't, you can't wrap around, you know, like Dave kind of said, you're one or two fingers back, but you don't get that full hand grip like some people like to do. So it's, it is back lower. I noticed that um, before I began my shave yesterday when I was paying more attention to it, I was like, oh, okay. And yesterday's shave went a lot better. Um, so I'm gonna, sorry we took a little bit of time there, but I wanted to show you guys that I thought that was important. 
but I'm going to pause you guys and I'll be right back. Okay, so face is all lathered, got the spice rack, wonderful soap. If you, if you see anything by Bluebell out there in the secondary market, I would highly recommend you pick it up. They had a couple of scents. They had a, uh, a lime, the spice rack, a barbershop, and those were the three main scents that he sold. Um, great stuff, great stuff. It's a shame they're not here. All right, so I'm going to hold it at its um, center point, so to speak, and we're going to try and get a, a different shave. What I noticed yesterday is, is that putting these three fingers here and the pinky on the bottom of the handle, instead of wrapping it all the way around like I do with other razors, gave me the most control with this razor. So this razor really requires you to shave differently with it. And if you do that practice before you begin your next shave, so Dave, Nurse Dave, if you watch this, I would recommend that you go back to this handle, if you haven't shipped it off already, and give it one more go holding it this way. And just see what you think. Because yesterday my shave was, the first shave was already good. The second shave was even better. So it, it is... Um, uncomfortable <laughs> in a way you know it, it does take some getting used to but you hold it the right way and you're gonna realize just how great this razor is but you have to learn how to shave with it it is a completely different shaving experience. So, just my opinion. But, and also, I think the very first shave, I don't think my attack angle was really right. I think because I was holding it in a different spot, I was compensating, and I was shaving this way, which is more of a scraping action with this razor. It really wants to almost be perpendicular to your face. Almost perpendicular. And then it just drops down. And it allows your hand to just really deliver the fine shave. So I'm getting ready to go to the chin. So here I'll call out Gear Noir from the forum. Great video. I know you were, uh, it was all in jest, so I thought that was funny, you know, making fun of me, so to speak. He was making fun of this motion right here that I do, right on the chin. He was really exaggerating it, and I think the only time that I really did that was a speed shave. Okay, so there's the first pass. I'm going to pause you guys, uh, rinse, load up, be back for the second pass. Okay. So back to this, and again, right? Here we are in the middle. Instinct is up here, so you can wrap around. Here, that's where you got to hold this thing. Um, now, against the grain is a little bit differently. I hold it in these two fingers. And then up against the face is what I learned while contemplating this. Much, much more comfortable than Monday. And I've noticed that when you put it here at this angle, you actually start to hear some of the audibles from the razor. Don't know why. But I didn't notice it as much the other way I was holding it. I think it's because, like I mentioned in the last segment, all right, don't talk when you're going around your items after that. That just caused a little nick. Um, what was I even saying? Oh, 
it forced the other way you weren't holding it at the right angle so you weren't getting as clean of a cut so it wasn't as audible so it, it still delivered a great shape because it's really hard to work against the ergonomic design of this head but hold it in the right way which means that you'll attack the whiskers at the right angle you'll be surprised at how much better it actually is So a little bit of housekeeping. Wife and I are going out of town for the long weekend. So I will try and do one hotel shave. On camera um, we're driving so I'll probably to be honest with you, I'm probably gonna bring this um, so probably gonna bring this razor and the Bad Blade series will be on hold. I really don't want to use a Bad Blade in a different water environment, different environment altogether. For the first time, I would much rather use something that, you know, I'm not reviewing like that. So the Bad Blade series will be back on Monday. And I've already agreed what blade I'm going to use. I'm using the Tiger Blade on Monday. So, there we go. That's the shave. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup, apply some witch hazel off camera, and then we'll be back um, to discuss final thoughts on this shave today. All right, so applying the um, witch hazel, my face is so smooth. That's what's great about this razor. If there's any reason to try to learn how to shave with this razor, which isn't difficult, it's just a little uncomfortable, it is that it delivers an exceptionally smooth shave and it lasts a long time time like I didn't want to buy into the hype and I'm not trying to add to the hype that there is over on the site but I will tell you that yes you got to learn how to hold it it's a different hold you do that you commit to it um, you're going to be rewarded with excellent shaves is it a rad killer I don't know I mean I've got so many and the next big thing will come out and I'll be interested in it and I'll probably buy it but um, I will say, and I cannot believe that I'm saying this, this, my Colonial General, is no longer my favorite Feather Artist Single Edge Razor. Now, I do not put the actual feather in that class. I treat that as a straight, um, but... No longer the favorite in my den for SEs. That's this boy. All right. Let's get to the aftershave. This video is going a little longer already. I didn't realize I was going to be making fun of Gear Noir today. Right? Long videos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So we're going to use Superior 70th. Um, this is an interesting take on Bay Rum. It reminds, it has that sweeter note to it. If you remember when I was talking about uh, Beehive and that Bay Rum, this is a good match for that. I like it. Put your thumb over it. I love this scent. Um, so thanks, Spider. I don't know if you'll watch this, but I know you sent me this. You found a Bay Rum that I actually like. So, I like the Superior 70th. And it was full and used quite a bit in that amount of time. So, anyways, guys, there's the shave. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the longer video. I'm going to recommend to the people in the vector threads to at least watch the first five minutes of this video because I think they go over a lot of useful information. Um, aside from that, please hit us up and join us at the Shaving Cadre. We are 10 members shy of 200. Will you be number 200? 
I know there are some guys that watch these videos that are not members, so if you aren't a member, please join. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at www.shavingcadre.com. And aside from that, see you guys on the pages. Have a good day, Cadre.